Hi guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna talk about what bones you can give your dog. I made this video because a lot of my clients come in and ask me what bones that they can feed their dogs and what bones are safe for their dogs. So when choosing a dog bone, first of all, you wanna look at the size of your dog. If you have a big large breed dog like Cooper here, or if you have a small breed dog like a Chihuahua or a Westie or a Yorkie, you're gonna choose smaller bones for those dogs. And then another tip is you don't wanna give a large breed dog small bones because those bones can get stuck in their intestines, become obstructed, and then your dog is at risk for needing a surgery um, to remove that bone. So let's go through this bone yard here. You get it? We have a lot of bones to go through. The first bone that I'm gonna talk about is the Nyla bone. So this bone is a plastic bone with flavoring. It's not to be ingested, so if you don't trust your dog with this bone and you think that they're gonna swallow it whole or chew it in half and swallow a piece of it, you might be looking at a visit to the vet with the Nyla bone. Um, so I don't always recommend this one, and that's what I talked about earlier, um, is that the Nyla bone is, is plastic. They're not supposed to eat it. So you need to watch your dog when you give them the Nyla bone. The next chew toy I'm gonna talk about is um, the Kong. So a Kong is also plastic going along with the Nyla bone. If you give your dogs the Kong and you fill it with peanut butter or dog food or the Whiz cheese, you still need to watch your dog when they have this because it's plastic, they can ingest it and it can get stuck in their intestines. So we don't want that. So with these two bones, just know that you have to watch your dog when, when they have them. That goes along with these other um, bones that are um, the Nyla bones. These are not to be ingested. They look all yummy, like they, the dogs can eat them. But a lot of people don't know that the, the dogs should not be eating these bones. They just need to chew on them. They're chew toys. Okay, so now we're gonna go into bones that your dog can ingest. So here are some bones that I really like. These little twisty Nyla bones. Um, good and fun, sure, they have some flavoring on them. These ones I like for little breed dogs because they can chew on these, work on them during the day, um, and they can eat them, they can ingest these. So that's nice that they're edible and they're most likely not gonna get stuck in your dog's intestines as if it were a plastic chewable bone. And then, um, let's see here, all these might fall. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. The next bone is a bigger um, Nyla bone. These ones are um, able to be ingested by the dog. So I really like these bones for my Dalmatians or dogs like Cooper who have big, strong teeth. They'll work on these. It might take them two days to chew these up. Some dogs can do it in a day. I don't know, you guys probably have dogs at home who chew these up and eat them in 30 minutes, who knows? But I do like these bones. Um, they can be ingested. Uh, here is a, looks like a horse leg or a cow leg or something. These look pretty intense. Um, these bones are good for large breed dogs that can chew on them. The problem with these is that dogs can crack their teeth. So if you have a dog that loves these bones, just watch out, they can crack their teeth on them. That's the number one thing, but they do have good flavoring. They're gonna keep your dog busy and out of your hair for a little bit if you need to throw them a bone. <laughs> but, um, but these ones can crack their teeth. So you see how thick it is. You don't really wanna give these to a dog that you think cracks its teeth all the time or if you've already been to the vet for them getting their teeth cracked. Whoa, and that just scared Cooper putting it down. Um, here's your classic rawhide. There is the classic rawhide. This is what everyone gets worried about. Can my dogs eat rawhides? Are they gonna choke and swallow? Are rawhides gonna get stuck in their intestines? So rawhides are meant to be edible. They work on these, they chew them. They do eat pieces of it as they're going through the bone. Um, but rawhides can still get stuck. I'm not saying that these are the best bones. Once they get to the end or they have a piece of it, some dogs like Labradors, they swallow these bones whole and run off. And then five days later, they have a stomach ache, they have a fever, and they're in the vet because they have a foreign body. Not every dog is gonna get a foreign body from these. I trust my dogs with them. I give my dogs these, which are Dalmatians, big breed dogs. 
Um, but I'm, I'm for the rawhides. I like the rawhides. They keep your dog occupied. Um, occupied. <laughs> they keep your dog occupied and those are good bones to give them. So now I'm moving to the rawhides that I love the most to give owners and these are the dental chews, the easy chews. Um, and these are for, for teeth, that's what they're marketed for. We make these at Clanmore Animal Hospital. I'm not just saying it, these are my favorite because we make them, but it's because they dissolve more than a regular rawhide and they have a less chance of getting stuck in the intestines or causing an obstruction. So I trust these bones 100%, have not had a problem with them. Um, so I'll put the link in the bio and you guys can click on it to buy these if you want them for your dogs. I go through these like water with my Dalmatians um, and that's the Dental Easy True Rawhides and they just look like strips of a rawhide. So that's what they look like. I recommend these. Um, but of course I went through everything with the other bones so you guys can always choose what you want for your dogs. And then I love these small versions for little dogs. I give these to my chihuahuas. It makes their day. I don't have to watch them with it. I leave the house and they work on it. No obstructions. I've been giving these to them for about three years now. So the dental easy chews. I really love those bones. Thank you guys for watching this video about what type of bone to pick for your dog. And if you have a bone to pick with me, please leave a comment below and I'd be happy to message you back about any questions that you have. Also, if you like this video or you learned something like how Nyla bones are plastic and they're not to be ingested, please hit that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, and also remember to hit that bell and you'll get a notification that every Thursday at five o'clock, I'll be posting another veterinary video. And I hope to see you guys all back here for some more.